We all know drugs are cannibalizing our state. And we all know we've got to do something. We've got to do something right now. I'm proposing three things that are in front of the legislature right now. The first is we've got to have stiffer penalties for the dealers that are bringing these terrible, terrible drugs into our state. I am proposing that we significantly stiffen those penalties to deter that as much as possible. Also, we've got to find an avenue, a pathway to bring people back into the workforce, a pathway for them to get rid of their felony charge, provided that there's not any connection to any level of violent crime, guns, or whatever it may be that, that pertains to the felony. And we've proposed legislation to do just that, to where if they comply with the pathway, they will be able to eventually get rid of the felony charge and enter back into our workforce in a really prominent and positive way. Also, we've got to recognize that it's just as simple. We have to have treatment facilities. Our people don't need to go out of state that really need treatment. I am proposing today that we build a treatment facility in the northern panhandle, one in the eastern panhandle, and one in Charleston. You may think, where is this money going to come from? Well, I have proposed a 5% fee, a licensing fee, for all the successful bidders on $2.4 billion of road work. It will create a $120 million bucket that we can use in a variety of different ways to solve and eradicate this terrible epidemic. And it will give us an opportunity to treat our people here without them having to leave and go out of state for treatment that's so badly needed.